Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to show you guys everything we added to our telescope. So this is a stellar view SVX-130, which is our main scope currently and the one we plan to use for spring, so galaxy season. And um, so we added a bunch of stuff on it and I think it might be interesting to show you guys what it is and what every little weird thing here does. So first of all, we have the camera here, which is not part of the video, obviously, but it's going to be uh, here just to show you guys the cable management that we've done. So um, from the camera, we have two uh, cables, a USB cable and the power cable. And we use this thing here. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but if you type like cable management on Amazon, you will find this. So it comes like this and uh, you just cut it with scissors uh, to the size you want. And you can just put the you know, cable through it and then go all the way until the other side. And it just ensures that all your cables are um, pretty much like one big cable, pretty much. So we did this with our two cables here, and uh, so we don't have, you know, two individual cables dangling around and possibly getting stuck in the mount. Also, when I'm done, I can easily uh, remove the camera and just leave this uh, cable thingy on the scope and in the case, just like that. Perfect. So this uh, focuser here came with a telescope, but I want to quickly mention it because uh, the reason why I don't want to stick this too close to the OTA is because this will also rotate uh, the camera. So if you have a rotator, make sure you never leave uh, your cables too tight, like always leave some room for them to turn around. Then, so let's go to the main part here. So here we have a dove tail. Do you want to say hi? Bella is coming because she's walking upstairs. I'm working, I'm sorry, I had to convince him. Okay, Love I don't mean that. <laughs> All right, so here on the dovetail, we have uh, a bunch of stuff. So this is what the main uh, accessories are. So obviously we have the guide scope here. So I just attached a, uh, a shoe, what's it called, a shoe something? Uh, you can find a shoe on the guide, uh, on the dovetail. And then right behind it, I uh, stuck a USB uh, hub that has four USB ports and uh, just so we can have extra USBs for like for example the focuser, the camera, the filter wheel if any and the mount of course as well and then this uh, USB hub here connects to our laptop right away well in this case not but you will see why and then so we have those two things here and then um, just uh, in front of the guide scope we have a NUC here so Intel NUC NUC so this is uh, brand new. I mean, we just bought it because uh, we want to make sure that we have no cables going to the ground uh, to our laptop. So this is pretty much going to replace our laptop entirely. It's a mini PC. And uh, this mini PC here is connected to uh, a TP-Link Wi-Fi thingy. That's how we communicate with the mini PC. So once we connect to the Wi-Fi with our other laptop or our phone, we can see like the actual Windows uh, screen and do everything we want and then uh, we have a Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box here so uh, we sadly only have four uh, outputs here because this is a mini version uh, I wish we had five but um, those outputs so one goes to the camera one to the filter wheel one to the focuser one to the mini PC uh, and then uh, yeah so talking about power uh, we cannot just connect the Nook to uh, a battery or all this actually right away. We have to use this little weird silver thing here. So thanks to my friend Greg, uh, who was able to come here and uh, do some soldering for me, uh, we installed this converter here. So this converter ensures that the power from the Nook, I think it's 19 volts, uh, transforms into 12 volts. And then um, so the power here goes to the 12 volt uh, Pegasus box. And then yeah, so this is kind of annoying because like, for example, here you have four different boxes, like four different things, uh, just to do one thing, which is a mini PC, uh, which is annoying. And uh, I was very, very close to buying a Eagle 3 or Eagle 4, which is uh, pretty much an all-in-one device that has everything included and it's beautiful, it's red and all that. But um, the Eagle is much more expensive. And so I went with a affordable way, which is uh, everything individually. So this whole mess here is pretty much the same as, a, as one Eagle. 
But um, yeah, so this is uh, the setup right now. I wish I had more space here to add uh, maybe something else, like a second shoe, in case I have an SI Air one day I want to use, or, or maybe put this down there. But I would have to use a different dovetail, which is like this one. This one is bigger, uh, longer, I mean, but also it's heavier, so I don't want to right now. I think it's fine. And then the only thing that scares me is I got really used to carrying this scope like on my, with my right hand like underneath every single time and then using that hand to uh, place a scope on the, the mount but now with all those cables I'm really afraid to rip one so I cannot do that anymore so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna just use it from here I guess and get used to that but um yeah oh and I also used uh, the little velcro straps whatever it's called here uh, so this is uh, some really affordable uh, straps to do cable management. So I used like a couple of these, one here and one here, so the cables stay together. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful, uh, tidy uh, scope. I mean, all the cables are tidy and we only have this one big one falling around here, but I might just find a way to make it you know, more like that maybe, while leaving some room for the rotator as well. Uh, if you guys have any uh, questions about all this um, this whole setup or uh, some tips for more stuff to add to make it even better let us know and uh, yeah so I'll see you guys next time and class guys. Bye.